Will the next industrialization come from Africa? This question might sound provocative, but on the continent, some creative minds are creating high-tech solutions using electronic waste. E-waste is one of the biggest technology problems in the Western world. 40 million tons are thrown away every single year or an equivalent of 800 laptops every second. Togo-based makerspace Waylab has created the first African 3D printer using e-waste I'm Francine Belli and I'm visiting Togo, one of the smallest countries in West Africa and my country of origin, to find out more about this community and what it takes to succeed as a tech entrepreneur in this part of the world. Togo is a small French-speaking country in West Africa situated between Benin, Ghana, Burkina Faso, with a coast lined with endless coconut trees. I'm in Lume, the capital to meet Welab community, that is putting the country on the world's map. Famous for its 3D printer Wafat, Welab community has received international recognition. From some experts, 3D printing could be the trigger of the next industrial revolution in the same way that the steam machine has impacted the industrial revolution. Imagine, what if instead of importing cars, Africa was able to print its own? This science fiction scenario could be a reality and perhaps sooner than we think. Sename Kofi Agojinu, a Togolese architect, anthropologue, and social entrepreneur, had an original vision when he created Waylab. Waylab is what we call a, a democracy technology space. This is a space we created in 2012 um, in a smart city project. And the idea of this, is, this space is to change one kilometer around by developing technological projects with young girls and boys. I discovered in 2012 what I call the collaborative movement. It is a movement uh, uh, which is very interesting for Africa. And I, I, I saw that this movement had some, something really African. When I discovered this uh, Akka movement, I saw uh, something very uh, traditional in it. In the Akka movement, I saw space which uh, similar to those space traditional societies or village used to build people together. I saw time like Bakon, uh, etc., who can be like uh, this traditional time in village. Another popular innovation of Waylab is the jerry, a computer made from a jerry can and recycled objects like hard drives, used motherboard and other e-waste. The Fab Lab has now evolved into an ambitious project to revolutionize the society with the low high tech concept. One member of Waylab community is hoping to crack the code to build a drone. Lale, a 22-year-old student who joined Wellab community a year ago, is showing me his lab. Chaque week-end, je viens m'entraîner à à pouvoir au moins réaliser quelque chose de concret. Donc, ce que vous voyez ici, c'est un drone qui est en cours de fabrication. J'ai le lecteur de DVD que je l'ai arraché dans, dans l'onduleur de l'ordinateur. Maintenant, bon, j'avais pensé à souder ça, mais la soudure ne marchait pas. Et l'idée m'est venue de, de fabriquer des pièces manquantes par l'imprimante 3D. J'ai prévu si c'est un laser qui devait me permettre à pouvoir peut-être scanner quelque chose, un nom 
je les scanne et je connais toute son identité corporelle. Et il y a des. Euh, il devait avoir aussi de, le, de la caméra, peut-être pour servir de surveillance et une antenne d'émission pour signaler peut-être certaines zones qui sont peut-être humides ou secs, enfin peut-être d'avertir. Je dis donc qu'il utilise le drone de pouvoir dégager un peu quand le temps et savoir quand pouvoir travailler au champ. Quoi. Et mon frère Chimo, qui est au campus, il fait l'informatique. On s'est entendu depuis l'enfance que s'il a le bac, il va aller faire l'informatique. Et moi aussi, il a le bac, je vais aller faire la génie mécanique. Donc ensemble, maintenant, on combine pour aller vers la robotique. I am now in Cotonou, Benin, to visit another vibrant tech community, e Labs. I am meeting Ulrich Sosu, a software engineer, an entrepreneur, and co-founder of TechExcel, a combination of incubation, acceleration, and venture investment. So what problem are they solving at TechExcel? The biggest problem we have in Africa, especially in Francophone Africa, is the education of young entrepreneurs. Not only entrepreneurship education, but also technology, marketing, design skills. So what we are doing is to actually put teams of entrepreneurs together for one year and a half approximately. And these teams work on an idea which comes from the community or us and they develop it into a product that is started. The first challenge is the environment because people don't understand what um, entrepreneurship is. Um, for example, you have plenty of programs um, from the government, from international organizations and so on, which uh, target specific um, domains of the economy. But the way they target them is uh, to, is like charity and so on. They don't help entrepreneurs develop themselves. So we have that big problem. And also there's a financing problem. It's very difficult for an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur who is starting to uh, have the necessary uh, money to develop his business. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, I had to sometimes go to Accra uh, on a short notice um, because there, there was like no internet here or it was too slow and I had to do something that requires the internet. You have to travel to Accra. Yeah. <laughs> and now... <laughs> like I get up in the morning, internet is very bad, I pack my things and I go to <laughs> A few kilometers of Itra Labs in Cotonou, there is now a co-working space, Chocolabs, that is providing access to high-speed internet to local entrepreneurs. Well, uh, it's been now less than one year that we opened this place. Uh, this labs is a place open to every tech entrepreneur um, people who have a business model or something they would like to create and uh, they can share this uh, place. This is a co-working space uh, where people also organize trainings, organize meetings. So it's a place which is supposed to be uh, rather accessible and cheap so that people can come and work with a good connection and also meet other people and exchange ideas and be connected to the world. But to fulfill the continent's potential and get a vibrant tech in Africa, the government has to play a key role. The World Bank in their report on the digital dividends recommend three actions that governments need to take for digital technology to promote development. 
inclusion, efficiency, and innovation, complemented with a favorable business climate, strong human capital, and good governance. The diaspora, too, has a role to play, and governments are recognizing the importance of their skills and competencies. In January, Togo's government organized a diaspora week in Lume to celebrate the achievement of its diaspora and encourage them to be the messenger to their compatriots living abroad to help with the development of their country. Young people also have to be counted. What I propose to the young is that if you have an idea very positive and that you know that you can realize it, you have to listen to the people who say that the African people often say that the African is not made for science, that the African is made for the science, that the African is made for the science, that the African is made for En fait, c'est ce qui a tué notre société parce que on n'apprend pas nos enfants à concevoir. On les apprend seulement à apprendre. C'est que au lieu de les apprendre à réfléchir de même et analyser et chercher les choses qui sont très essentielles pour leur vie quotidienne, on les amène à être des automates. Donc moi, ce que je dis aux jeunes, c'est de croire à leur, à leur, comment, à leur eh, plus grand rêve. Si tu veux faire inventer une machine, il faut vraiment mettre de l'énergie. Parce que quand on se lève jour et nuit, on ne fait que marcher avec des objectifs. Perhaps there isn't that much long way to go before we see Togo and Africa playing a key role in the next technology revolution. Examples of tech innovation coming from M-Pesa are already changing the lives of people and the commercial drones that are getting ready to take off on the continent. If the country's authorities succeed in designing and implementing the right digital strategy, liberalize access to fast internet at an affordable price and take drastic measures to develop a thriving ecosystem, it could only be a matter of years to start reaping the digital dividend in Togo.